think we may reach in-house neural net neural net training a capability of uh, 100 exaflops by the end of next year. Tesla's full self-driving version 12 release is a groundbreaking stride, offering 15,000 employees access to an advanced neural network. This iteration emphasizes an evolution in autonomous driving, learning from diverse real-world driving scenarios. Unlike conventional methods reliant on thousands of code lines, this version harnesses billions of video frames, mirroring the adaptability found in models like ChatGPT tailored for Tesla's vehicles. This innovation showcases Tesla's continuous commitment to advancing autonomy and driving, propelling the industry forward with groundbreaking approaches to learning from real-world experiences. It's a testament to their dedication to revolutionizing the future of transportation. But where where did Tesla's remarkable innovation go? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Let's explore the groundbreaking innovations brought forth by Tesla's FSD version 12. What transformative breakthroughs does it offer to enhance your EV experience? Elon Musk commented during the FSD version 12 test drive that at times the experience was so comfortable and smooth that it raised questions about its extent. Although it might not be the most challenging FSD beta drive ever attempted, it still encountered situations demanding challenges, such as navigating roundabouts with pedestrians. Notably, the test took place in Palo Alto, where Tesla continuously drives, providing the company with ample data for analysis. The road routes seem to be randomly selected in indicating a lack of pre-planning, which makes it all the more fantastic when observing an overall well-performing journey that closely resembles what we experienced in version 11.4.7. At this stage, it appears highly suitable for version 12, as it's evident that this is still an unofficial release for users. There are various reasons for this status, but once again, it seems that Tesla might be closer to readiness than we initially anticipated. However, what impresses us the most are Elon's comments during the driving experience, particularly noting that in the current version there are over 300,000 lines of code related to C++ programming, predominantly relying on various predictive methods. Musk mentioned that essentially there might still be a few occurrences within those lines of code, but the majority around 300,000 lines have been deleted, signifying that version 12 is nearing completion. All of these developments highlight a neural network making decisions based on the video training data provided by Tesla, despite the absence of of explicit programming for features, such as speed bumps, the car exhibits the ability to slow down when encountering them. There's no code instructing the vehicle to veer into the shoulder at a destination, yet it accomplishes this when reaching the endpoint. There's no programming to inform the car about what a roundabout is or how to navigate it, yet it repeats this behavior seamlessly throughout the entire journey an astonishing accomplishment. Furthermore, the ability to reproduce maps on the dashboard seems to have improved significantly in real time, effectively capturing roadside features, building corners, and road distances. The precision and speed at which objects on the road are identified surpass those of a LiDAR device operating on a Tesla, demonstrating the remarkable capabilities of the camera system. What's even more intriguing is Tesla's recent shift to the neural network planning approach. However, as of early this year, the neural network has analyzed 10 million video clips based on the best handled driving scenarios that the system has access to. Musk guided employees at the company's Buffalo, New York facility, responsible for analyzing these clips, to train AI on actions that a five-star taxi driver would take. Several challenging situations, such as abrupt braking and avoiding vehicles on narrower streets or when there's a stop sign, are addressed in version 12. Notably, FSD's handling of driving on fast lanes when slower vehicles are in the right lane is impressive. Specifically, when a faster car approaches from behind, the software signals and safely shifts to a slower lane allowing the faster vehicle to pass. Afterward, it transitions back to the fast lane and maintains a position if no other vehicles approach from behind. Furthermore, Tesla has officially launched the long-awaited autonomous driving feature on the streets for the fully self-driving software. This introduction followed a few days
days after Tesla reduced the FSD price in the US, a feature that had been listed in Tesla's configuration for quite some time. In late 2023, Tesla lowered the FSD price in the US from 15,000 to 12,000 US dollars, offering a substantial $3,000 in savings. The remarkable aspect is that Tesla's FSD encompasses all functionalities of both basic and advanced autonomous driving modes, including traffic light and stop sign control, as well as autonomous driving on city streets. Until now, the city street autonomous driving system has only been available in the United States. We already know that Tesla vehicles have been utilizing neural networks for a long time, especially from an image analysis perspective. It's crucial to understand why neural networks are more effective, faster, and perhaps most importantly, can be improved more rapidly than attempting to write code to interpret that, making it a bit more visually appealing when thinking about images or videos. This not only changes the fundamental decisions that Tesla vehicles make, but also influences its explanations regarding planning and controlling other agents in driving scenarios, whether they are pedestrians or anything else. These factors will impact the neural network and its output to truly control the vehicle. So this is truly a remarkable development, once again, completely different from the current architecture. It allows Tesla to enhance the progress speed of FSD. Musk mentioned in a recent live stream that he is satisfied with Tesla's current position, having a very rapid and efficient cycle in updating the neural network's weights with high quality video data. Currently, the most significant challenge with FSD is collecting data from this network. Tesla is in an excellent position to fine tune the data and ensure it's genuinely high quality, then training the network with this data. This process requires significant computational power and Tesla is diligently working on it, so we must be aware of the computational limitations. Now that we've glimpsed into the transformative potential of Tesla's FSD version 12, let's delve deeper into what sets this technology apart. What are the standout features that make full self-driving version 12 truly exceptional? FSD version 12 marks an incredibly significant milestone for Tesla's fully autonomous driving software. The reason for this is that, as Musk puts it, Version 12 will use nothing but nets. All current versions of FSD and autopilot contain human written code with conditional logic, meaning there's potential for human errors and training the system becomes more challenging. Furthermore, FSD version 12 boasts an enhanced neural network architecture that allows for more complex decision-making processes. This neural network is capable of processing vast amounts of data in real time, enabling the vehicle to navigate diverse and challenging scenarios with greater confidence and precision. One notable improvement in the new version is its advanced understanding of contextual information. The system can now interpret intricate road scenarios such as construction zones, pedestrian heavy areas, and complex intersections, thanks to its ability to analyze and comprehend the environment in a more nuanced manner. This comprehensive understanding significantly reduces the likelihood of unexpected or unsafe reactions by the vehicle. Another noteworthy aspect is its emphasis on safety. Tesla has incorporated multiple redundant safety checks and fail-safe mechanisms to ensure that the system prioritizes the well-being of both occupants and other road users. The combination of advanced machine learning, adaptive capabilities, and robust safety features. In summary, this represents a paradigm shift in autonomous driving technology. By eliminating human written code, embracing machine learning, and introducing adaptive learning, Tesla has propelled its autonomous driving software to new heights, making driving safer and closer to to achieving the long-awaited vision of full self-driving capabilities. Having explored the remarkable features of FSD version 12, it's crucial to address the timeline. When can we expect the official release of this groundbreaking technology? Although there's still no precise information about the specific timeline for the official release of FSD for the public, the expansion of the testing team is a positive sign. FSD Beta version 12.1 was announced in Tesla's release notes, although there is a possibility that we will see additional updates before it is rolled out to public testers. In June of 2023, Musk announced that FSD would conclude its beta phase with version 12. However, it's worth noting that the release notes for the new version FSD Beta 12.1 raise questions about whether FSD is still in the testing phase. Musk might be aiming for an official exit from beta with the final version 12, but as of now, 
now, it seems that FSD is still undergoing testing with Tesla's 15,000 employees. Continuing to maintain FSD in the testing phase with an internal employee group may be a necessary step to ensure the safety and performance of the system before a wide release to end users. This could also be a strategy for Tesla to ensure that they have control over all aspects related to FSD before opening it up to regular customers. However, with all the challenges and uncertainties, the community is eagerly anticipating a significant breakthrough in autonomous driving technology from Tesla. As more information is disclosed, more people are questioning the future of FSD and how it will reshape the global traffic landscape. While we anticipate the official release of FSD version 12, it's equally important to consider the broader horizon. How will advancements in new hardware further enhance the capabilities of future full self-driving systems? We recognize that Tesla is focusing on improving data quality to enhance automation capabilities, a crucial area for technological advancements in the era of artificial intelligence. In this process, the value of investing in training and hardware development cannot be overlooked. As Musk mentioned, allocating two billion US dollars for training in 2023 is a significant commitment. This not only represents a major step in improving the skills and knowledge of the software team, but also signals Tesla's dedication to leading in this field. Furthermore, regarding hardware, Tesla is expected to spend a substantial amount in 2024, with a notable aspect being the potential acquisition of Nvidia, as well as efforts in developing the Dojo system. This investment not only strengthens the processing capabilities of autonomous vehicles, but is also a crucial step in driving the development of artificial intelligence technology. This simultaneously challenges and motivates competitors in the industry to pursue new standards and enhance their competitive capabilities. We are witnessing a crucial stage in the development of autonomous vehicle technology, and monitoring Tesla's actions and statements in the coming times will provide profound insights into the future landscape of this industry. Additionally, Tesla has confirmed its participation in the final round of the design of TSMC 3 nanometer NTO chip, which is scheduled for 2024. Tesla will utilize the N3P process for its fully self-driving smart chip. This indicates the increasing demand for advanced semiconductor solutions. Compared to the previous N3E process, N3P is designed to improve performance by 5%, reduce power consumption by up to 10, and significantly increase chip output by 1.04 times, which is basically 4% more. These metrics and the technological maturity of the process are expected to surpass Intel's 18A technology significantly. Indeed, the collaboration between Tesla and TSMC has a history, with previous orders for the Dojo D1 chip on the 7 nanometer process and the hardware 4.0 chip on the 5 nanometer. The addition to the N3P customer list indicates a strategic move for hardware 5.0 in the future. Tesla has announced reaching 100 exaflops of computing power in 2024 or later. It becomes even more intriguing as more information is revealed about version 12, showing that it could leverage that additional computing power. As mentioned earlier, everything will continue to rapidly scale up for Tesla's computing needs. The head of Tesla's AI infrastructure tweeted about Tesla's AI 10K cluster going live thanks to the real-world AI program. This supercomputer comprises over 10,000 NVIDIA H100 graphics processing units, GPUs for a performance of 340 petaflops, and an AI throughput of nearly 40 exaflops. They might possess the world's largest training dataset, high-capacity cache memory up to 200 petabytes, and there are notes that version 12 and subsequent training processes are computationally intensive, making this an extremely interesting time for Tesla's FSD and AI. Indeed, with the strong demand for the H100 G GPU, Tesla is also investing over a billion US dollars in custom chips to power its Dojo supercomputer. Dojo will work in conjunction with the new NVIDIA-based system to manage data processing for Tesla's entire vehicle fleet. The combined supercomputer architecture underscores Tesla's commitment to overcoming limitations that hinder AI progress. Musk has made several comments about Hardware 4, stating that Hardware 4 is interesting due to how sensor inputs feed into the neural network. Both 4 and 3 were executed on the same computer hardware within a vehicle consuming only 100 watts of power, which is clearly impressive. However, it's known that with Hardware 4, there will be a slight increase in power consumption. Finally, we need to accept the fact that Musk and Tesla are not very concerned about the level in autonomous driving technology. Their goal 
goal is to create a fully autonomous driving solution, and they are on the path to achieving that. Comparing this to what Mercedes, GM, or Waymo are doing is like comparing apples and oranges. Tesla's solution, when it emerges, will be capable of driving anywhere, and all their vehicles sold since around 2017 will have the ability to perform autonomous driving while collecting a substantial amount of real-world data necessary for them to achieve this and contribute to AI improvement. While examining the potential impact of new hardware on FSD capabilities, it raises a pivotal question. Which specific models stand as the top priorities for integration with a fully self-driving system? With the improvements in FSD version 12 promised to be equipped on all existing models in Tesla's product lineup and some built on conceptual models like the Model 2 and RoboTaxi, there will be a difference on the pricing for commercial use and personal ownership. When an Uber-like vehicle can generate a profit of $50,000 in a year, the RoboTaxi system using FSD will have an equivalent price for this self-driving option. There are many issues that need to be addressed for RoboTaxis to become a reality. Tesla vehicles cannot just sit there and do nothing, so I'm concerned that we are not fully ready for RoboTaxis at the current time. Additionally, the Tesla Cybertruck may be the most intriguing product currently offered by the electric vehicle manufacturer, but that doesn't necessarily mean the all-electric pickup truck will be the first product to receive the company's full self-driving update. Musk recently revealed in a recent post on Twitter, or X, that since then, the full self-driving feature has made significant strides. Since the initiative was introduced back in October of 2020, FSD beta users have driven over 500 million miles using the Advanced Driver Assistance System, as mentioned in Tesla's third quarter of 2023 update letter. This figure could increase further in the fourth quarter. With Cybertruck deliveries currently taking place, it has raised some questions from longtime FSD beta users about when FSD beta will be released for the steel-bodied pickup. Ultimately, they are equipped with the best technology Tesla can currently offer, from the wired control system to the hardware 4 computer. Considering every intention and purpose, the Cybertruck appears to be fully compatible with the latest versions of FSD beta. However, it is not necessarily required to be so. The number of circulating Cybertrucks on the road is limited compared to the other five million Tesla vehicles, and it is much larger than other EVs, requiring more real-world data as more Cybertrucks hit the road. The deployment of FSD version 12 marks a significant milestone in Tesla's journey in the field of AI and self-driving vehicles. It signifies not only technological capabilities, but also the fine-tuning of AI to adapt to the diverse behaviors of humans. With Musk continuing to focus on AI evident through his ambitious projects, Tesla remains a crucial player in the EV market and the broader AI revolution. As more detailed information about the public release of FSD version 12 draws near, it is clear that Tesla is getting closer to a future where cars are not only self-driving, but also intelligent and responsive to the complexities of real-world technology. As we envision the evolution of FSD and its integration into select models, it prompts us to reflect on our aspirations. What ground Groundbreaking innovations do you envision and hope to see implemented in the forthcoming versions of Full Self Driving? We appreciate your contributions and hope this video brought you relaxation. If it did, please support us by hitting the like button and becoming a part of the Tesla Car World family through subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome content to come by enabling the bell icon. Your feedback and time are highly valued. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy life.